for years, okay? Everybody, well, I did. I don't know about you. Once a month, let's, I'm, even if I over-exaggerate, once a month, somebody would pull me aside and go, hey, man, you know anybody who wants sneakers? What do you got? Yeah. I got Converse. Okay. They usually go for 20 for you. I'll give them to you for seven. You don't even ask. You just know they're stolen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. going to embarrass you. Right. You come to my house. You're my friend, right, Joe? You come to my house. Joe, I don't. how you doing? I, this is kind of embarrassing. My cousin, he, he owns a store, and he's having a sale on TVs. I know it's 6 o'clock. It's a little late, but they're the Trinitrons. They're 400 brand new. I need 100. They're in a box with a warranty. Christmas is coming. You don't <laughs> ask if they're stolen. That's a regular fucking day for a guy in Pittsburgh, Connecticut. Is that more of an East Coast thing where people come Florida. to you with an open van? Well, I'm not an open van. I'm talking not people, not strangers. I'm talking about Jamie. You know Jamie oh. three, four years, and Jamie's got a cousin that gets watches. Right. He gets the best watch in the world, Malacunta. <laughs> They're $52,000, but Jamie can get them for 22 cash. 22000 and 20 goes to the guy, and Jamie gets ah. two off the top. Are you going to torture Jamie and embarrass him? Like, so when did you get this? Am I going to get arrested? No. Give him the 22 grand and move on with your fucking life. Right? Is that bad karma? Who knows? By stolen goods? No, because Mato Kunqua <laughs> gets the insurance back from you at, and they get it even higher. They get, oh. they get the retail back. They don't even get the wholesale. So God. everybody makes out. Nice. If you take it off somebody's watch and put a gun to his head, then you got to bump into something bad. Right. The physical act of taking it from a person is different well, from no matter a what, truck there's something involved, but you don't have nothing to do with it. Somebody shows up at your doorstep. It's two weeks away from Christmas. What a surprise. You have the Nintendo game my son wants, or the PS3, or the PS4. How much are those things brand new? Uh, 300. How much? 300. 300 brand new. I show up at your house for a buck and a quarter with three of them. You're going to take all three of them. I know a dude who thought he was buying a stereo, but he's actually buying bricks. He got one of those stereo Right, back. but he's a fucking half a Momo. <laughs> he stopped at the street and bought it from a guy named Jamal. I had a guy, I was buying pet food. I pulled into this parking spot, I got out, and this dude literally opened the van like he was going to take me in and fuck me. Like I was like some little kid he was about to scoop up out of the woods. Like it was a molester. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you, what do you got? And he's like, stereos. You want to buy a stereo? I was like, this is the weirdest. He's He opened up the door like as people parked the car and like was literally like, hey, man. You want some of this? Like, what? You're asking for trouble if you do business with one of those guys. Well, that's the most obvious shit ever. You know, he's just randomly trying to sell a stereo to the back of a van. Like, now, what are these things that they do in whatever? Like, the people go and they have, what are they called? Junkets here? When I was Press a, junkets? No, no, no. I'm sorry. The, the thing off the fucking five that you always see in the movies and all the fucking uh, Friday, they all go to... A place and they, they they buy stereos and Raider hats. It's, oh, it's swap, swap meet. Swap meet. Like, oh yeah. Okay. Well, in, in L.A. it's a swap meet. In Jersey they called uh, what do they call flea market? Something like that. Yeah. Because when I was a Thank kid, you, I used to go to where they used to do the <laughs> the bicycles, whatever the street car races. Yeah. And next door to it, they had what whatever was called, and you'd go there, and they had pretty much shit that was stolen. It was just a festival, and they charged a uh, table fee because everything was 50% off, even the sneakers, I remember. And then we found out that the guy would go to the fucking factory and jump over the fence and take all the the sneakers that were mistakes. The oh. So the irregulars, mm -hmm. he, they would take those and just sell them at those sw sw swap flea meats. markets, swap meets. Oh. And then we found out, we cut into his action. I swear mm -hmm. to God. We, we we cut into that action and the banaka action. Banaka? Remember, remember those tubes of banaka? Breath spray? They would throw thousands of them out with the little things, like the chemical was off. You start blinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> like the chemical would be off. Then it was pepper spray. Oh, like real no. pepper spray. Like people would spray it. And you'd see, what happened? It's not uh. regular banaka. What is that, tear gas? It was like the tear gas. <laughs> And we had the Spanish kid that was half retarded, and we'd make him jump the fence, and we'd have thousands of tubes. Oh. And we'd sell them for 50 cents a piece on Monday in the 6th and 7th grade. Hilarious. But there was always three kids that complained. There was a little, like, the chemical imbalance was all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's hilarious. Oh, my God.
Yeah, yeah, there's like more shenanigans in the East Coast, it seems like. But no, you know who cut into that sneaker business? Who? Ross. Ross, dressed for less? Sure, all those companies that you go and the jeans are 20% off because there's a regular stitch. You now know, they became the fucking uh, junkets for those. He Thank you.